Welcome to New Zealand. Thanks for joining me. Well, uh, today's a kind of a special day, really, because uh, I'm going to be um, presenting to you uh, my first publication, my first book, my first photographic book, which has um, kind of been a few years in the making. I've been trying to get my head around how I'm going to do it and uh, what I'm going to do, and uh, this is my first stab at it, so um, kind of exciting. Um, so first of all, I just want to just talk about, you know, um, really the format of the book, and um, this, is a, this, this is a book about my, my film photography and um, a collection of my film photography. Film photography for me really is well, really is a magical type of or a genre of photography and, and it makes me feel special when I'm doing it. So um, it was only right that I did my first, my first little book on film photography. And like I said, Stolen Moments is the, um, is the name of the book and I guess that's just kind of a, a phrase that really sums me up as a photographer. I think it's these, these are just a collection of moments that I've stolen. <laughs> um, you know, I haven't made the pictures, they've just been things, observations, and um, you know, on the first page here, um, stolen moments, um, a collection of simple observations uh, by Paul C. Smith. So that's pretty much the book in a nutshell, really. It's just things that I've seen. Um, I wanted I wanted to have a theme, uh, a New Zealand theme to it. Uh, I wanted it to be about my my world, um, my everyday life, um, the things that I see with my eyes. And um, so, for the most part, I think 99% of the pictures in this book are all of New Zealand. So um, let's get started. And um, I guess the first picture I want to talk about is the cover. I spent a lot of time on New Zealand beaches and a lot of time on New Zealand West Coast beaches in particular, and I have a real affinity with the West Coast. Um, and the first picture um, was taken one night when I was just strolling um, along Sunset Beach. On this particular night, I was just walking down the beach and there was just like, you know, as there usually is on a Sunset Beach, um, a misty atmosphere there. The sun sets on the beach, obviously, that's why it's called Sunset Beach. And um, there was just a group of people walking on the beach and in particular a family i think there was two boys actually uh, and their parents and the boys were i don't know if they're playing football or the ball but they were running around and you know on the beach you know you've got you had the the tire marks the, the tire tracks up the beach um the sun was just hitting everything and it was just like silhouetting everything and uh i just saw the scene and i actually took a couple of shots and i had to kind of um deliberate long and hard about which shot I was going to make the cover and um, which which shot I was going to leave out. I was tempted to, to put two of the shots in, both of the shots, but again I didn't want to be too repetitive and um, I ended up uh, using this shot here which is um, the boy in the foreground and his parents walking up the beach and other people walking up the beach too. And um, that became the cover. Um, so moving on and again um, you know, the next the next page really is the first page of the book, um, and again, the theme really is, is just water and the beaches here and the west coast of New Zealand. And uh, I have a real, I just I spend a lot of time walking the beaches, and I kind of think it reflects for me, especially the west coast of New Zealand. It reflects to me um, New Zealand as it was, you know. And on this page here, basically, I've got uh, I've got three shots, and two of those shots are taken at Raglan, New Zealand. The first shot is uh, a picture of a couple of gentlemen that were just are just mulleting for um, sorry for, uh, netting for mullet. And um, again, it's just to me, it typifies kind of a New Zealand lifestyle, really. You know, netting for mullet. But I can just imagine these guys, you know, you know, spending a morning putting the net out, heading back home, gutting the fish, and putting them in the smoker, and maybe having a nice lunch. And that to me kind of symbolises like, you know, um, just a really Kiwi um, vibe really, and a part of, you know, what I think New Zealand is. And the third picture is also taken of Raglan. I just saw this young boy walking, um, again, up the up the harbour, uh, I think it was on low tide, and he was just walking. I took, I took a couple of shots of my Leica, and um, 
the shot that I've chosen for the book was just him just walking on a bit of a sandbar, uh, barefooted um, through the harbour there. Again, most of the book is, was, you know, the shots were taken in New Zealand, but the first, the, there's two shots here that are actually were taken in Melbourne, um, on the arty side of Melbourne, and uh, I think it's the Arts Centre and the museum, the Arts Museum. Um, there's just some really cool sculptures there, and uh, the, uh, I, I was just walking along with my um, Olympus OM2N, I think I shot this on Acros, on uh, Acros Neopan. Um, and these are some of the early pictures I took on film, actually. And, um, the picture to the far right, on the far right of the page, uh, there was a photographer taking a picture of the, uh, I don't know what he was doing, but there was a piece of wire and I just caught my eye, but I stood back and they had these large sculptures and it just kind of framed the picture really well. I think I asked, he had a couple of guys with him, they looked kind of professional and um, here's me standing there with my, um, my old film camera and they probably thought, oh, who's this loser? <laughs> who's this idiot? Who's this amateur? <laughs> anyway, I asked them what they were doing and I can't remember their answer, but they kind of were a bit dismissive. And I just took the shot and um, to this day it actually remains one of my favourite pictures. I don't know what it, what it is, but it, I just think I, got, I managed to get that picture framed spot on and uh, I don't know, it just has a vibe about it that I like and it's been sitting on my wall in my office for, for many years, many a month and I still like looking at it and it still means a lot to me and uh, I like it, so hopefully you will too. And in the centre, uh, I took this picture at uh, the Auckland Art Museum and I was just there one day looking at art, I mean I'm, you know, looking at art, I kind of get in an artistic um, frame and I was on the balcony looking down and there was a sculpture hanging from the ceiling and um, there was just a couple walking around there, and uh, I had my Leica with me, my Leica M6, and I was pushing, I, I can't remember what I shot this at. Um, pretty sure I had, it was Acros again, I think. But anyway, um, they were just kind of like, you know, they were in love, these two, and they were walking around the art gallery, and uh, the, the gentleman had his arm around the lady, and they just kind of seemed to float around the room. And I, again, I took a, a couple of pictures, um, and again, I had, difficulty working out which picture I was going to use in the book but this one made it and um, again just 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 a feeling just a moment that I just felt you know it's one of those times where you think something happened here take the picture and um, I've always liked that picture and again hopefully you all too moving on um, back to the coast and um, three pictures here the first two were taken at uh, Waihe Beach and I was just walking there with my camera one day and uh, like her again, I think, M6, I think. And uh, there's just this guy that was standing on, a, on an entry to the, to the beach, on like a boardwalk to the beach. Again, silhouetted against the, he was looking into the, it was in the morning, sun was coming up on the east. And just made for a nice silhouette. And then I was walking with my wife and I just said to my wife, just hang back, stay out of the picture. Well, I'll take the picture. She never listens to me. And um, so I took the first picture of the gentleman just standing by himself and then she walks into the frame after him. And I think the two pictures kind of combine quite nicely and make a nice set because um, he's there by himself. Then my wife walks into the picture and um, it just kind of works well. The next picture. Oh, this is the middle of the book. This is the centre of the book. The centre picture of the book. The centre picture. A um, bit of a story here because I was driving to work one day and, and uh, um, driving pa past the Pukekohe racetrack and it was just a, it was a beautiful foggy morning and I just saw the mist and, I, and then in the distance I see this, um, I see these horses, the race horse, horses coming back from their training and um, there was a couple of them coming up and they were snorting and there was steam coming out of the horses and um, the fog, and I, I remember specifically thinking, stop and take this picture. Um, and I kind of bummed out a bit because I thought, oh no, I've only got my film camera. And I was thinking to myself, you yeah, know, I wish I had my digital camera. And, um, 
you know, my M6 was sitting in the back of my car, I grabbed it, and I think, oh no, I've only got film, I've only got film, you know, I'm naked, I'm, I'm gonna have to do this properly. <laughs> and um, I just got out of my car, jumped the fences, and I just ran, I mean, I probably had to run about eight or 900 meters, nearly, you know, maybe not that far, but maybe five or 600 meters over these paddocks, you know, through this boggy marsh. And I just ran, and I kind of was waving as I was running. Just stop, I wanted to get this picture of these, these horses, you know, and it's like, I just didn't want to lose the picture. And I ran, I, as I was running, I was taking pictures all the way up. The two pictures I chose was, again, I think, just the horses coming in, and uh, I think I kind of nailed it. I nailed those shots. And I'm so glad, I, I'm so glad I did it on film. You know, after thinking, because my immediate thought was, oh, I haven't got much of a shot at, get, you know, I've got to get these pictures. And with film, you've got, you know, you really, you know, you, you've got nothing to hide behind. And um, you don't have all those luxuries of autofocus and stuff, so you just you have to nail it. And, and it, it kind of was, for me, this, I guess, it kind of started something for me really with film because it, it made me trust myself with film. And, um, you know, the pictures I got, super stoked with them and uh, got a nice set. Two pictures made the book and uh, those are the two I chose. Um, the next page is, is from a very special episode of um, my vlog. Uh, it was from the episode that I featured Simon Donald and uh, um, I kind of just had to, had to have some portraits in the book and uh, these shots here. Um, again, kind of tell a story really of, and, and, and sum up the mood. The first, the first picture, I remember before we did this, me and Simon had a coffee and we are talking about um, his solo project which is called The Boy in the Hall and that was what my, my vlog was called too. And I just talked about, you know, you know, what, was the, you know what was the motivation, what's you know, The Boy in the Hall thing, what was the meaning behind it. Um, he said that he always feels like he's sitting alone in a hall somewhere or in, you know, like in the hall of a, of, of a house somewhere and um, this kind of lonely feeling, I guess, that he, that he has. And um, um, anyway, we, we had a coffee and we went up and we found this really cool space. In one of the pictures I took, um, Simon, commented, Simon, Simon commented to me that when he was thinking about this project and the imagery that he had in his mind, this picture, the first picture, summed it up perfectly. And um, for that reason, I have to include that in the book. And I like it too, I think it, um, there's, a, there's an atmosphere about it. Second picture was, you know, kind of him playing guitar. That was shot with, I think the first picture was shot with the Leica, and the second was shot with the um, medium, a medium format camera, uh, my um, Mamiya, Mamiya 645E, um, medium format. And the third shot is just at the lone guitar, which is kind of like, you know, um, what happened, I think, I said that we, we had a coffee, we, did the first section of the seg the the, um, the, the session, and um, I just said to Simon, just go go grab a beer if you want to chill out. You know, if, you know if you want to have a beer and chill out a bit more, it's fine by me. So he said, yeah, I'll, I'll go and do that. So he went and grabbed a bottle of beer, and um, while he was away, he just put the guitar up against the uh, the old chair that he was sitting on up in this loft, and um, just again, it was just another moment. It just kind of framed really well. So, um, next page, uh, just you know, just some shapes really. The first is a shot from Hamilton, and uh, another cold and dull day down there, walking along and just looking up at this bridge with a uh, streetlight on it, and uh, you know, just using that effect of silhouetting and, 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 and blowing out the picture, I guess, really. <laughs> next picture is. Um, I think it's the only picture not taken in New Zealand. Oh no, actually, sorry, there were some pictures too. Um, next picture was kind of a weird one because like, I kind of found this while I was looking for material for the book. And it's a picture that I kind of, remember taking it and when I got the negative back, I kind of thought that I just, I, I had this idea of what it was in my head that I wanted to do with it and uh, felt that I hadn't quite made it or it wasn't. But it's funny when you go back and revisit stuff, you kind of, you, you lose a bit of baggage on it, and I kind of felt that it was originally what I'd intended it to be. And it, just the, the quick story really was that it was a visit to uh, to Sydney, um, my birthday one year, and I got really ill for the whole, we went for a weekend 
And I got, it was a, just a, a disaster of a trip because I got really ill, I had the flu. Going over there, I came down with a flu. Um, on this particular day, it was just a really wet, windy, cold Sydney day and we caught the ferry to Manly and uh, we started off in a calm, calm harbour. It was, like I say, it was a gnarly day. It was a gnarly Sydney day, like it was um, heavy wind and rain, cold, and um, but the harbour was pretty, pretty, pretty still. And then we got over to um, what was the outlet to the ocean, obviously from the, um, which is just before you get to Manly, and um, you know the seas just started. It was where these huge seas, and I was thinking, man, we're going. This boat's going to roll. It was just rolling around in these big seas, and. Um, um, the picture, the, the picture. I just managed I, well, as as we were going across the um, the harbour. I think it was just as we got out of these huge seas. I, I, I just saw the reflection of some people that had, were standing at the back of the ferry um, that were kind of framed, framed in the window next to me where I was sitting. And um, and I just again, just just kind of thought that it was going to make a cool. Um, a cool picture and snap. Uh, it, was, it was a picture I just kind of thought, oh, I missed the mark with this picture. But anyway, it, it, when I was going through the, um, the, um, you know, all my images to put this book together, um, I just come across it again, and I just kind of had another look at it and uh, got a different vibe from it, and actually realised that I'd uh, actually captured the image that I wanted to capture in the first place. So um, that's how I made the book. It was just a very last minute thing really and uh, a picture that I had stowed away and had forgotten about. Back to the beach again on the next page and uh, um, first picture is a picture of uh, Sunset Beach again. There's a couple of actually all, all of this all of this page is dedicated again to Port Waikato and Sunset Beach. Uh, first picture is a couple of kids that were just playing on the beach and uh, again I have my Leica with me and um, again it was evening cold evening and there was a couple of kids brother and sister playing playing by the water and they were just the boy had a little pom-pom hat on and the girl had this big jacket and they just kind of looked like real kind of uh gypsy kids or you know kind of uh i don't know they just had a had a vibe about them they were happy and you know they were kind of west coast west coast kids you know just normal happy artistic kids for some reason i just got a vibe from them and they were playing at the water's edge took a um, you know, half a dozen to a dozen shots of them, and you know, this is the picture that made it. There could have been a couple of pictures that, that, that were equally as good. Something kind of like um, free about surfers, that they have a freedom about them where they don't care and they have this bohemian type of lifestyle, most of them anyway. This one I like, it's just a Guy walking along, again silhouetted against the um, against the crashing sort of like west coast. Um, oh, and we're at the end of the book. And my last picture, the last picture is um, basically again from my vlog. I think it was my local vlog with my uh, and check the vlog out again. Not many people watch this vlog, but there's some good pictures from it. Um, this was taken on, um, again, O Tower, I think, at the back of uh, the Waikou Forest. And if you've watched my vlogs over the, the last year or so, you'll know that I have a kind of a real love for um, telephone lines and telephone poles and the crosses. And, um, you know, it just kind of reminds me of that whole Robert Frank kind of that picture, that New Mexico picture of the highway. You know, something something cool about the whole silhouetting of um, telephone lines or power lines. I just like it. And then this the shot is just like it's a contour. It's you, know, you see the contour of the, the land. We've got the lone tree. We've got the power lines. We've got if you look closely, the birds that are perched on that power line. Just little dots there that are perched on there. And I just like the way that the um, this is framed. Really, this is just a this is a cropped image. Obviously, I've cropped it because I've um, wanted to put it on a full page. Um, but that ends off the book. And um, like I said, it's not, it's not a huge piece of work, but it's I just wanted to do something that was compact that I could kind of you know 
make available to people um, at, at a price that was that was kind of affordable. Um, I could ship it to you guys. You can. It, it's. I think it's a good retrospective of my work, my my, my film work. Um, it's a good little um, sample of what I do, and who I am as a as a photographer. Um, and I'm quite pleased with it. I'm pretty proud of it. And uh, it's not the first. It's not. Won't be the last book I do. Um, if you would like to purchase this book, it's available on my website. Um, the cost is 25 New Zealand dollars. Um, that roughly equates to about 15 US dollars or 15 euros. Or if you're paying in British pounds, it's about 13 pound. Now I'll ship that book free of charge. So 25 New Zealand dollars or 15 US dollars, I think it is, or 15 euros. We'll um, have that book uh, delivered to you anywhere, anywhere in the world. Um, um, I'll sign each copy individually and um, send that to you. 25 New Zealand dollars. It's a bargain. Um, go and check out the website. It's up on the website there. And um, um, please, uh, if you can, it helps support my channel, helps support my work, and um, hopefully you'll get something back from it too. So that's it for this week. That's um, that's my book, Stolen Moments. Uh, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover with it. Um, um, please go support me. As usual, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go and do so. Subscribe to my channel is another way you can support what I do. It supports my work. It grows my channel. And the uh, bigger my channel gets, the more people that support it, the more I can um, put into it. So go and subscribe. Um, check out my other work. Um, go and check out my website. You know, while you're over buying the book, go and check out the website, uh, my work up on there. Instagram feed uh, is a uh, link below for that as well. Uh, so go and check it out. Go and follow me on Instagram. Well, that's it. Um, thanks for joining me again. I appreciate, uh, appreciate your time. Uh, come back again and uh, see the next episode. Uh, until next time, please take care. Hari ra from New Zealand. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>